Hi, this is Mrs. Patterson, and I'm here to show you how to beat Juan. The noise is a bit annoying, so I'm going to shut it off. Though it's fun to hear Juan speak. So here's the first level. And the, the first rule of the game of NIM, and this is what I call the advanced game of NIM, because you can choose as many pearls as you want, but only from, from one row at a time. Another game similar to this is the Fruit Master game. The idea with one read the directions is that you can take as many as you want, but you don't want to be stuck with the last pearl. So the first rule is to leave the board even. So I see I have two rows and I count them, five in this row and six in this row. So I leave five and five. One, two, three, three, four, five, yep. And I've left the board even. New at playing, you can watch how Juan wins and then you can model what he does. I leave the board even again, take one from the top row. Leave the board even, take one from the bottom row. Now is when the board degenerates, so you still have to be thinking it's not leaving the board even anymore. If I leave one pearl here, then Juan will take one and I'll be stuck. So for the last moves, you, you want to leave one pearl behind, so you have to pay attention. I want to take the whole bottom row. And I left one pearl and one. For this board, it's not easy how to see to leave it even. There's no two rows that I can't even out. Um, there's no nice pattern going on here. So now I have to write the board in binary. So I'm going to open up my binary worksheet that I've made for this. And I'll take one and using Windows key and an arrow key. Um, move one over there so you can see it. So I can just write in binary how many pearls there are. Now this program um, lets me write the binary of the pearls. So there's three in the first row. And then it shows me the number of pearls here. We could have one that goes the other way where you count and have the three and then it shows you what it is in binary. But for now it's going, um, you have to be able to write the number in binary and they'll show here if you have the, the value correct. So then the next row has four. So I just put a one in the fours column, and then the next row has five. A one in the fours column and a one in the ones column. The rule is to leave the board even. And now by even we mean that when you add up the number of ones in each of the columns, the total of ones in each column has to be even. So I have two fours, which is even, that's two. I only have one two, so that's not even. And I have two ones. You usually attack the largest or most left column that has the first odd one. Since I don't need a one here, I'm going to remove it. So I can just hit delete. And now I have one left. And you can see that the board is even, two, zero, two. So I'm going to leave one in the top row. Okay, one pearl in one spot, leave one in the top row. I always start by leaving one and then choose the next one so I don't over collect by the levels. Now he took one, so we're back to playing, just leave the board even. And it usually did to the board even by a visual looking at it. My favorite board, the two by two. And now we take the whole bottom row. Move one. Ah. Once again, I'm going to need to use my math skills over here. So my top row has one, two, three, four, five. So that's a four bit on and a one bit on equal five. The next row has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice it's a slanted or diagonal um, rectangle parallelogram. So the, the first one was five. I can see this was five here and two more. So that's seven. So that's going to be one here and one there. And then the last row, if this is seven, then this would be nine. And I can double check two, four, six, eight, nine. So nine looks like this. One, nothing in the fours, and a one and a one. So now I have to check, is the board even? And it's clearly not even. If it were even on the first time, then I hit go and let Juan go first. 
sometimes he does give you an even board to start out. So what is the first column, starting from the left, that has an odd number? Well, it's this column right here in the third row. So this is the row I'm going to work on so that I can make these numbers all even. So to show you that, I'm going to highlight um, a fill. Where's my fill colors? Oh, there it is. Just so you can see, I'm going to work on this row. So I want to get rid of that one. I'm just going to delete it. And I can delete this one. How many do I need to leave to leave the board even? Well, I have an even number here, and I have an even number here. Two ones and two ones. So if I leave a one in this column, that'll leave the board even. This is where we leave the board even. And that shows me that I just leave two in the third row. So I count my two, one, two, and I leave two in the third row. And it's Juan's turn. So he left me four in the top row. So I'm going to delete that one. And now I look. Where am I going to attack? Well, this one has two, and that's even. And the twos column has two, and that's even. But the last one here has a singleton one, which I have to remove so the board will be even. So now I'm going to work on the second row and take one away from the second row. So I delete that. I leave six in the second row, and the board is even. Three, four, six. Take one away. Perfect one. He left me a two and a two, and then how many in the middle? Six. Well, I can see that if I leave two and two, the board's going to be even, and that's how you want to leave it. I could write out the whole board, but I can just visually see it here. So I just get rid of the middle row. Nothing can match all those. And now I'm leaving the board even with a two by two board. Take the bottom row one again. Okay, same routine. I count how many pearls there are. I see three. So I'm going to zero. I'm going to delete that one to zero it out. I need a two and a one to make three. And then if that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I count ten. So that means I'm going to need an eight. And I delete, delete, and a two to make ten. And I can see that this is one more than 10, which would be 11. So that's an 8. Uh, oh, in the wrong spot, excuse me. That's an, an 8, a 2, and a 1 for 11. So I have a 3, a 10, and an 11. And I wrote the board correctly. So I can see here that this is even. So I don't take anything away from there. But the 2s, I have one too many in the 2s column. And I can choose whichever one to get rid of. Um, for simplicity, I think I will get rid of this two. So I could get rid of two from the middle, or two from the bottom, or two from the top. In this case, it's your choice. But I'm going to get rid of two from the top. Leave the board even, so I leave one in the top. And you can see I left the board even, two, zero, two, two, and the board is even. One, ten, and all. Okay, so I was cleaning up mine. Sorry, did Juan leave me? He left me two, four, six, eight, ten still, and two, four, six, eight. So he left me eight in the bottom, so he took away three. And I still have ten in the middle row and one in the top row. So the eights column is even, but the twos column and the ones columns are not. I'm going to attack the largest one, which is not even, which is this one. So I'm going to zero it out. And now if I put a one in the ones column, I can make the board even. So I have one, nine, and eight. And you can see the board is even. So I just need to take one away. Juan has just left me with my favorite three, two, one board. So I count three in the middle, and I go one, two, three, like this. Remember the boards look like this to leave the boards. One pearl, three pearls, five pearls, you'll win. And even rows, 
321 12